it's recording now. Alright, go for it. What do you want it to record? Just the whole machine. Yeah, I'll start the, uh, the top section. Mm -hmm. Just hitting the start button. She cycles up. And then we can uh, stop it, reverse it, and go the other way. Then we can um, put the lower section on. That's this back part here. <laughs> Pretty neat, right? Yeah, it looks really nice. <laughs> so that's the horizontal mill. Missing one part of it. You need a, a, pil uh, a pillar comes out of here and, and holds the front of the um, oh yeah the mill. Then you got the, it's got a power drive, so we could put the feet on and make the, the table move across slowly or fast. Go the other way. And it also has a, uh, a wrapping thing to work. And when it's, uh, you put the stops in here, which is missing it, hits the stop and we'll stop it at uh, whatever point you set the stop. Pretty cool. All these wheels are polished up. Cast iron, look how they shine. <laughs> Weird. It's the, oh, I'm holding the lock button by accident. Okay, now come, come around the back. Hold on. Take the side of it. So. Rotate it a little. I just come over here. Okay. Nice. A little extra light we got, but that's okay. How much as we got? This door was torn off. The weld was broken. I just put a few screws in it, put it back on. <laughs> That's good. Definitely a big boy toy. Motor drive. And it's got a... You can... Um, pick the, the quill up and down quickly with the handle on the side here. Or you can lock this and then drive it up and down with the crank. So you're real precise, the amount of, uh, I think one crank is whatever, thousands. Nice. Cute. You can also lock the quill. Do the motor, do the motor drive back and forth? This one? Yeah. pictures of it? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was going to do it. I was going to try and polish this. But I don't know. It's so beat up looking this thing. I told him I wouldn't want to touch it. Put a uh, an RPM counter on it, mm -hmm. so it gives us RPM. You're in the shop. It has um, 
feed. It has a clutch mechanism that can drive the carriage in the x-axis or you can flip it and drive the um, cross slide sideways Y or you can put it in neutral and use the half nuts and do thread three different positions and those can all be switched while it's running all the gears here it's got a quick change gearbox forward and reverse on here and you can change speed but this and all that you do while the machine's not running so that you don't jam the gears up change um, tool holder and this one you change the uh, belt speed by picking the cover up it loosens the belt and then you can swap the, the belts to whatever size pulley you want to put it on and when you lower the cover it tightens the belt back up so then you'll get higher speed on it not too sure. I'm just going to figure up to 500. Now. I don't know. It's cute, right? Yeah, it came out really nice. It, it looks beautiful. <laughs> this was the oldest one I got and I put two cables on it so you could drill on a flat table or you could drill on a device which has a uh, an adjustable table <laughs> And then you got the other one. This one is uh, Atlas, which makes both of these, because Craftsman's made by Atlas. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one has a two-step pulley system on it, so it goes really slow when you run it. Super slow. And that's a medium-sized one. And this is the mini miniature one. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see those over there. Is this a cute little thing? Look at that. That's nice. Isn't that cute? That is very cute. Where'd you pick that up from? I'm back in Craigslist. Alright. 